welcome back to By It's Cover. I'm Leah and today we're talking about Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This book has been calling to me from the shelves of Target for a couple months now and I finally caved and bought it one night when I was there. And then I read it in two days. It was also cool to read coming right off of the Night Circus, kind of another fantasy carnival situation and I'm probably gonna do a comparison about the two so stick around for that. Not in this video, in another video. So the jacket design is by Aaron Fitzsimmons and Ray Chappelle. Aaron is an associate art director for book design at HarperCollins in New York. She's also done the covers for They Both Die at the End, The Rest of Us Just Live Here, and a bunch of other covers so you've definitely seen her work around. You can go check out her portfolio site if you want to see more. But let me just say, this girl loves Futura. Oh my gosh, I think half of her covers have Futura in them. And like, also love Futura in all caps, but find a chill. She also has a degree just for typography, which I think is super cool and is definitely evident in her work. Ray is also a designer, but at Random House in Brooklyn, New York. He's done things such as Dorothy Must Die and The Girl From Everywhere. Also has a great rounded portfolio, but definitely more into the distress type and hand-drawn type compared to Aaron's more refined type. Speaking of type, the font they used for the title is called Desire, and then they just added these embellished swirls. I've actually seen this font popping up quite a bit now that I've seen it on this book, so it's definitely on trend. And then, like I said, the sub font and the tagline are in Futura Light in all caps because Aaron loves it. The body copy gave me a lot of trouble because every identifier kept thinking it was Garamond but I was like it's not I promise and it's actually called Pona. The cover is that nice kind of sticky mat that we saw on I think the Six of Crows books that I really like for holding on to and then it highlights the varnished gloss of these red decorations as well as the title and this holographic star in the background. The star is part of the symbol of Caraval, and then they just used Shutterstock photography to fill it in with a starry night sky. And I guess the sky for the background too. Contrasting all this blue, I think the red swirls with this kind of purple gradient look really nice. They also kind of acknowledge the main character whose name is Scarlet, not just because of the red color, because she has a form of synesthesia, which is kind of where one of your senses lines up with the other, and for most people it doesn't happen like that. So in her case, when she feels a strong emotion, she sees a flash of color that matches that emotion. Having this cover with limited to almost no imagery kind of just heightened the mystery around Caraval for me. I really just wanted to know like what it was after seeing the cover and reading the synopsis. Starting from the outside and working in, the hardcover just has this nice little blue teardrop, which is another part of the symbol of Caraval. They've put a map inside of Caraval, but it's really not my favorite map. It's pretty, I'm not gonna say sloppy, but just like simple and kind of childlike. Also, I never found myself needing to look back at the map to know where they were. It wasn't really important to know exactly where they were. It just, it wasn't quite as maze-like as the Night Circus and I just kind of followed in my head. I never had to be like, I need to know exactly how they got from A to B. So I really think the math was extra, not needed. The chapter pages are full spread with this floral brocade paisley-ish pattern that I really like. And then this hourglass above the chapter title, which is also very nice. And then each chapter title has a strip of the same floral pattern down the side, kind of like as an embellishment that I appreciate to continue throughout. And the chapter numbers are inside these circles with more flower stuff, which is also nice, but I think that the number itself could be larger to stand out more and probably center it a little better. Throughout the book, there are a lot of letter correspondence that we get to read, and they are all set up like actual notes with distinct handwritings and borders. And while I do appreciate that, to know who's talking and seeing the notes, I never like the fonts chosen that are trying to look like natural human handwriting. I'd really prefer people to just handwrite them themselves, so I won't be going into which fonts those are. 
And that is it for Carval. Next week I am going to have the comparison between the Night Circus and Carval up, so stick around for that. Hit subscribe down below and hit the little bell if you want a notification to get it. Thumbs this video if you liked the book, if you want to read the book. Leave me a comment on your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Bye.